Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salatu wassalamu ala rasulullah ma ba'd. Welcome to a short and brief tutorial in Python. So today I'm gonna talk to you about my Python program. Actually this is a client, a DHCP client tool. And in this video, or this video is about talking about um, the theory and the concept behind this program. And in the next video I'm gonna talk to you or I'm gonna show you how to code it, okay? So the, the code is ips.py and let's execute it, ips. Before doing so, let me start the washrock sniffing and I've got a, fi a, a filter on the gateway or the broadcast IP address as well as the gateway IP address. So let's send a packet. I've sent a DHCP discover as well as a DHCP request. So here um, we have um, a DHCP discover sent from this particular IP, which is wrong, because actually a DHCP or a client that request that would request a an IP address or search for a DHCP server on the local area network actually doesn't have an IP address because he's gonna request for an IP address. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that in the next video. Um, so <laughs> this particular packet is 286 byte long and actually if you expand this particular fields the Ethernet header and the IP header we have the IP header length is 20 byte and we have the total length is 20 is 272 and if you do a subtraction between these two numbers we do we did if you do 200 86 minus 272 we got 14 and 14 actually is the Ethernet header size okay and if we do subtraction between this particular number or 272 minus 20 we get um, 252 which is the UDP datagram protocol length plus the this is actually the datagram plus the boot P or the DHCP discover or the DHCP discover message and this is 252 so the boot p client is the port, the port number of the boot p client is 68 and the boot p um, or the port number of the sorry the boot the port number of the boot p client is 68 and the port number of the boot p server is 67 so let's um, explain the DHCP discover so first off we have the message type so the opcode actually can be set to one or two. If set to one, if this is a boot request, it must be set. It should be set to one. So in this particular packet, we've set it to one. Set to one. If we go to the request, it's actually or the DHCP act. It's set to two. This is a reply. This is a reply. This is a request. This is a reply. This is a request and this two is a reply so the second one is the hardware type which is set to zero one or the one this is in hexadecimal so in the network byte order would be like zero uh, backslash x zero one and this is for the boot request and as well as for the ethernet should be set as backslash x zero one and the hardware address land actually is one byte long the hardware type is one byte long and the Hardware address length is 80 bit, 8, 8 bit or 1 byte. And actually, this is the hardware address length with it, which is 6 byte. So, um, let's take a look on the next field, which is the hops. And actually, this is stands for the DHCP relay agents. And in this particular scenario, we're not using a relay agent. So, if this actually has been set to one, you have to update update this particular field, which is the relay agent's IP address. This is should not be set to to one zero zero zero. So here we are not using the HTTP relay agent, so this is set to zero point zero point zero point zero. So the transaction ID. So this is actually a thirty two bit byte long, and as you can see here, how how actually the question that comes in mind is how can we generate this kind of um, value so you can use import random or from random import trendint and actually xid is equal to I'm gonna use randint to generate a value zero and I'm gonna end it with zero x ff one byte two byte three four so the xid is this value you can change it to hex 
XID and this is a random value. So this is how to generate the XID. You can do it another way like as follows and zero and you have to end it with zero x ff 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 so this is actually to be set to zero all zero so if we do a hex on x id so as you can see here this is the value so the first one is pretty much good using run it run ends okay so the second field is the time col uh, elapsed between the client and server and this is set to zero um, we have the boots flags and actually this is 16 bit long and the first bit is for the broadcast flags is if the packet is if it actually these fields can be set to zero if um, if the client actually doesn't support broadcast um, messages or this um, sending messages in the broadcast and unicast you can set whatever you want here so I've set zero for unicast and one is for and one is for broadcast m messages and actually the reserved flags which is 15 bit set to this is reserved for future use and this is actually all this bit is set set to are set to zero we have the client IP address which is zero 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 your IP address zero zero next IP relay agents as well all these are set to zero because we don't have actually an IP address we are requesting an IP address we don't know the um, we don't know the IP address of the server the HCP server we have the client MAC address this is my IP address my MAC address we have the client hardware typing which is 10 byte long so this is actually set to zero we have this is a padding we have 64 bit for the host name server host name um, I've set this to zero so actually this is 64 this can be set as follows so um, backslash x or as follows backslash x double zero multiplied by 64 so this is the value okay and for the next one is 28 it can be set to this so this is the 122 okay um, we have the DHCP magic cookie and actually this can be ta has been taken from the DHCP uh, RFC this is a predefined value this is in the network byte order is as follows um, backslash x um, 63 backslash x 82 backslash x 53 backslash x 63 okay 53 63 so this is a predefined value you can take it from the DHCP RFC. So we have the DHCP message type. So this is actually part of the options. And the DHCP actually DHCP message type code is 53, which is 35 in hexadecimal. So hex um, 53. This is 0x35. And actually this value or the, this DHCP message type should be set as follows: backslash x 53 backslash x 01 for the the length backslash x01 for the DHCP discover if we are sending a DHCP request actually this should be updated to 2 as you can see here or 3 this should be set to 3 okay 3 and the offer is 2 actually, yeah the offer is 2 um, so and finally we have the options um, the, the end option which is ff 0 x ff we have the offer and the offer is the boot reply so the value the message type is set to 2 we have the your IP address your IP address here 172.6122.2 this is your IP address the server tells us that this is your IP address this is gonna be your IP address we have the um, actually some um, some additional options like we have changed DHCP um, type to offer so this should be set to 2 we have DHCP server ID the length is 4 and the DHCP server ID is th this is the IP address of the DHCP server we have the list time and many many other like DNS servers we have the domain name so we've requested um, our this IP address 
I've requested this IP address 172.16.122.2 and I've said added a parameter list request list and the code is 55 and the requested options are subnet mask, broadcast address, time offset, routers and many many other options and finally I've ended the message using the end option which is the 0xff and finally we've got a message an acknowledgement of all the requested option from the server as you can see here everything has been set domain name pen testing skills that LAN. we have the dns servers and many many other uh, options the router now is set to this particular value we have the leases and Mm, DHCP server ID and many other options so hopefully you like this program in the next video I'm gonna show you how to code it um, see you next time